we had actually created a transport issue table. So this transport issue table, I'm actually making as extendable, extensible as true. So what exactly this checkbox does? What exactly this extensible checkbox means? Which means you can actually extend this table in another tables. Okay. You can actually extend this table in another tables. Hope this is clear. So when you check this extensible checkbox means you are actually making this field extendable in other tables. Okay. Now, right, I am going to create another table. So under tables, I am going to create another table. Okay. So we have actually a transport issue table. Now I am going to create a table called transport issue task. Okay. Transport issue task table I am actually creating. I am creating another table that is actually called transport issue task table. So whenever you create a table, the name is getting populated with you underscore. What exactly you underscore means, guys? Can any one of you guys tell me? User created by. Yes, awesome. So here, right, I'm actually creating a module which will actually appear under transport issue management, which we have actually created just a while ago. Transport issue management application menu we have created, right? Under this application menu, I want to show this flight uh, transport issue task table. So here, right, did I create any field here? No, there are no fields created. So here I'm actually extending transport issue table. I'm actually, I'm actually extending transport issue table. So when exactly we can extend the transport issue table is that by when you check this checkbox, extensible checkbox, only then you can actually extend the table in this table. So when you are actually checking that checkbox means it is nothing but this table, this table can be extended in other tables. This is what this extensible checkbox means. You have checked this checkbox. Now you will be able to extend this transport issue table in the transport issue task table. So here in the transport issue table, how many fields we have here? How many fields we have here? 21 plus 6. So we have actually many tables created, many fields created in this uh, um, uh, in this transport issue table. Okay. So here, right, I did not actually create any fields here. I'm actually extending transport issue table in the transport issue task table. Okay. So all the fields from the transport issue table will be extended to transport issue task table here. See, did we create all these fields in the transport issue task table? So did we create all these fields or did it get automatically come from the transport issue table? Automatically come from the... So these fields automatically come from transport issue table. Okay. So we have actually created a table called transport issue task table. In the task table, we are actually extending transport issue table. As we are extending this table, automatically all the fields from this table are actually extended to this transport issue task table. Hope this is clear for everyone. Clear or not? Yes, clear. Clear, right? Okay. Now, I am actually creating a number field on the tra transport issue task table. Auto number. So all these fields are actually from transport issue table as we are extending this transport issue table in the transport issue task. 
So I am going to open the form here. Show form. So this will almost look like transport issue, uh, transport issue form only. This is almost looking like transport issue form only. If you take a look at the transport issue form. See, this is actually a transport issue form. This is actually a transport issue task form. So what is the difference here? There is no much difference, right? So all these fields, did we create on the transport issue task? Did we create all these fields on the transport issue task, guys? Can anyone of you guys tell me? No, we did not create. Uh, we did not create. So all these fields are automatically coming from transport issue transport issue table because we are extending transport issue table in the transport issue task table, right? That is the reason. So all the fields from the transport issue table are coming to transport issue task. Table. Hope this is clear. So before, before today's session, I mean, in our previous session, in our previous session, we had actually discussed a few things like dictionary properties, how to make field mandatory, how to make field read only, how to make field display display name, how to how to set the default value, how to uh, uh, how to set the calculated value, dependent field, reference qualifier. So we had actually discussed in our previous session, right? Do you all guys remember that? Yes. You guys remember, right? Yes. Okay. So this is actually, this is actually transport issue form. On the transport issue form, I want to make affected caller field as mandatory field. Now what I do is I'll go to the table here. I'll, I'll open the affected caller field. Okay. I am making this field mandatory here. So I want to make a transport issue. I want to make affected caller field mandatory on the transport issue form. So now if I refresh this one, right? It has become mandatory on the transport issue. If I refresh, if I refresh this transport issue task as well, you guys can see the affected color color has become mandatory. So why exactly it has become mandatory, guys? Can anyone of you guys tell me? Why exactly it has become mandatory, guys? On the transport issue task. Because we added this uh, trend transport issue with task under uh, transport issue. Yes. So this affected color field is actually, this affected color field is actually from transport issue, transport issue table. So we did not actually create this affected color field on the transport issue task. This field is actually coming from transport issue table. That is the reason as we are actually making this field mandatory on the transport issue, it is getting mandatory on the transport issue task as well. Suppose I want to make, I want to make related incident field read only on the transport issue. On the transport issue, I want to make related incident field read only. So related incident field, I'm actually making read only here.
So now if I refresh this transport issue form, if I refresh this transport issue form, related incident field is read only. If I refresh this one, right, transport issue form, transport issue task form, it has become read only in the transport issue task form as well. So why is it getting read only here? Because this related incident field is actually from transport issues table. Okay. Yes. Now, now, right, here in the affected color field, here in the affected color field, not affected color, not affected color, assignment group, not assignment group, assigned to. In the assigned to field, I want to populate current logged in user information. Who is the current logged in user here? System administrator. So I want to populate. So current logged in user information as soon as you open the form. When, whenever you open the major transport issue form, whenever you open the transport issue form, so what exactly should happen is that, so you will actually populate current logged in user information in the assigned to field. That means you will go to the assigned to field here. So here you will actually select the default value. So you will go to the advanced view here. Okay. So here you will actually select the dynamic default. You will select as me. Me means current logged in user here. Okay. So before I refresh this one, right? Whenever this, whenever I refresh this transport issue. So here in the assignment, assigned to field, current logged in user information will be populated automatically. So current logged in user information is populated automatically. So whenever you refresh this transport issue task form as well, current logged in user information is getting populated here. Okay. So why exactly it is populating the current logged in user information in the transport issue task form? Tell me guys, why exactly it is happening? Because we have done the changes in transport issue. 